another good question it's a equation based question quality all right but some fundamental things are there some information you have to use it so those information i want to tell you first thing first thing carefully everybody understand if any equation quadratic equation have real roots to d greater than 0 means roots will be real and different d equal to 0 means roots will be real and equal understand and d less than 0 means roots will be imaginary and conjugate means one root a plus ib to other root will be a minus ib right okay <clears throat> now this much only find the sum of all real a for which the equation of this has exactly three different real solution in x actually this is not pure quadratic right now i will convert in quadratic sir how will you i will take two cases because mod i want to remove to case 1 i'm i'm doing side by side so please carefully watch everybody be clear uh, three different solution in x we have to find so i am taking two different cases sir what is two different one is that ki suppose x is greater than 0 another is the x is less than 0 sir equal to 0 where god x equal to 0 impossible why because x equal to 0 if you put here 0 this is also 0 this is also 0 1 equal to 0 will come to x equal to 0 nowhere unnecessary why should i uh, uh, destroy my ink for writing equal to 0 hmm? x equal to i know that x cannot be there x greater than 0 the equation will become something like this plus a minus 2 into x plus 1 equal to 3x shifting one side to so this equation will become x square plus a minus 5 x plus 1 equal to 0 i hope i did correct right this is the one quality why they are talking three different first i am explaining that if x less than 0 imagine everybody if x is less than 0 <coughs> if x less than 0 what will happen This mod x will be written as what minus x. So we'll get x square plus a minus two x plus one equal to minus three x. Shifting one side, we'll get x square plus a plus one x plus one equal to zero. Now think carefully. Actually, there are two quadratic. One is this, another is this. This can give you two roots. This also can give you two roots. The so total four roots possible. Are you getting? Remember, any quadratic if give imaginary, it will not give real. Either it will give real or it will be imaginary. So what is the situation? I want exactly three different different real two. So surely one quadratic must give you two different roots, and one quadratic must give you one equal roots. Yes or no? This is the only condition is going to be free. Not getting. Are you getting my point? Wait. If I say both d greater than zero, so this will have two different root. This is also having two different root. So total four different root. Imagine. Suppose this is a d less than zero and this d greater than zero. So only two real root. So what situation is possible? Ki one d should be equal to zero, so that ki only one actually two root, but they are equal. So one root we can count, and here d greater than zero. So two situation. I am taking. I do not know where d greater than zero, where d less than zero. So first I am taking case. Suppose this is having two different roots. This is. So d will be greater than zero. D greater than zero means what? A minus five whole square minus four greater than zero. Yes or no? Ha. So a minus five will be less than two. I I am expecting that all of you know the inequality. Less than minus two or a minus five greater than two. If you do not know the polynomial inequality, there will be on this uh, channel there will be inequalities. I taught polynomial inequality how to solve a less than three or a greater than seven. 
This is the one condition I got it. Hold down. Hold down everybody. A less than 3 or A greater than 7. Ab, if D greater than 0 here, the D must be equal to 0. That means, so <clears throat> A plus 1 whole square minus 4 AC means minus 4 must be 0. So A plus 1 equal to plus minus 2 which indicate A equal to either 1 or minus 2. Yes or no? This condition. Both means I have to select that value of A which satisfy both conditions. Look, according to me, 1 and minus 2 both are getting satisfied. See, A less than 3, here A is 1 and minus 2 satisfying. This will be also happy because they are saying either A should be less than 3 or A should be greater than 7. So, A is less than 1 or 3 is coming. But we have to make sure ki X should be also positive. Hai. It should have positive roots. It should have positive roots. Are you able to understand? Huh. So, what to do? <coughs> Check. A, here roots will be what? x equal to minus b means a minus 5 plus minus root of b square means a minus 5 the whole square minus 4ac or no need of doing this way. I have to get a value. Na. Suppose I am taking a equal to 1. A equal to 1, if I will put here, that will become x square minus x plus 1. Sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry. Here I am putting, I am selecting A equal to 1. A equal to 1. So, x square minus, sorry, plus minus 4, minus 4, means A minus minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. X is positive. So X will be equal to minus B means 4 plus minus root of B square means 16 minus 4AC divided by 2A means 2. That will come. 